Hey guys, hope we're all doing well today. So it is now Friday. It is Magic Kingdom day number two. First day was what, Tuesday? For the Halloween party. Today is just supposed to be the normal rides and normal park hours. That being said, um, we do have some weather coming in. They have a tropical storm that may, may or may not hit certain parts of Florida. And we're supposed to be getting some rain today on and off so we'll see what rides we can actually get on because i know with rain they usually shut down rides like splash mountain or big thunder mountain railroad and those are two of them that i actually had fast passes for today <laughs> so we'll see if we can get on those uh we'll try and get on them as soon as possible uh but yeah enough talk let's head to the park all right so last day at magic kingdom it is uh not bad weather wise so let's go to our first fast pass in Splash Mountain. When I was here before, it was just for the Halloween show, but now I actually get to look around a little more and some of the finer details. That is always a beautiful sight that never gets old. I'm not sure why, it might just be me, but it doesn't matter the holiday. Main Street always feels extremely comfortable. To me, it's, it's a very relaxed feeling walking down this street. I don't know if it's just because of the decorations or because of the architecture of the buildings. It just feels like a nice cozy area. Actually really interesting. I had the very last row in the log and I didn't get wet. Maybe a couple sprinkles, but that was it. So time to do some more trekking down some rides and see what we can get on without having to go through a long wait. So a good one to go on now would be it's a small world. It's only five minute wait. But then right across from it in Peter Pan's flight, that was a 45 minute wait. So it really depends on the ride. Alright, another five minute ride. Let's go. So I'm heading over to my second Fast Pass now at Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. I stopped over at Mickey's Feel Our Magic again. That is probably one of the best rides here for an AC boost. You're constantly surrounded by fans throughout most of the show, so I highly recommend going there if you want a little AC and a break from the weather. Time for a little Big Thunder Mountain. times and it never gets old. Taking a small little pit stop at Gaston's Tavern, but I always stop and enjoy the view. That's pretty, I wonder how big that castle actually is. Because from here, it looks like it could be about 15 to 20 feet. 
I laugh if it's only like five feet tall. All right, guys, so got the ham and Swiss, the chocolate croissant, and LeFou's brew. So today, there's about 20, so for the next few hours, there's actually like a 20% chance of rain. And uh, it looks like it wants to. So I can't find the Pascal by the waterfall. Do these count? How would you like to have something like this in your backyard? It would be really cool. Rapunzel's tower in the background. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Mm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> sure if I was going to be doing that one again, but it was only a 15 minute wait, so I didn't want to pass it out. And it's one of my favorites here. It's a classic. Alright, so standby entrance only 35 minutes. Alright guys, 
so we are done with all the fast passes for today. Uh, Peter Pan was our last one. That was actually pretty interesting. I've never gotten stuck on that ride before, and hanging from the ceiling is a little different, especially for, I don't know, a good 30 seconds. Then it shoots you off like a rocket, so that was pretty cool. So I feel with the carousel and maybe the teacups, people mover, oh, people mover, maybe not. But like rides like the teacups and the carousel, I kind of feel like if I ride those like twice, I'm good for like a solid 10 years. How do you guys feel about rides like that? I mean, I think it's beautiful. It's just not something I'd ride all the time. I think I've only ever stopped in Sir Mickey's once. Let's take a quick look inside. Okay, so continuing from outside, we got Mickey on the vine. Follow it along the ceiling. There's the giant. I love the cosmetics they put into these stores. It's just so cool and entertaining. That is a beautiful piece of artwork. Just the whole structure. How much detail they put into it. So cool. I would love to get a blueprint of this and put it up in a frame in my office. Okay, so Sir Mickey's has a lot of princess stuff in there. So, definitely not my kind of store. Well guys, that's the last view of the castle we're gonna have on this trip. Beautiful thing. I think we're leaving at the right time. It is getting really busy because of the Halloween party. Oh, this is kind of bittersweet. Really windy right now, so I hope you guys can hear me. My last time going home from a resort with the bus. Kind of sad. So this I thought was pretty interesting, but if you look at the picture, and you go to the side, what's the key for? Interesting. Questions, questions, questions. So we left at a perfect time in the park. Um, it was about 4.30 when I was on the bus heading out and the party, they start handing or uh, start doing the wristbands for the party at four. It doesn't officially start, I think until seven. I think it was when the, the time actually started. But holy cow, there were hordes and hordes of people coming into that park and the humidity or the heat wasn't up there as much as it was before because of the storms rolling in this weekend uh but it still cracked 90 degrees there's no light sorry about that i had to turn the lights on it's getting a little dark in here we do have some rain rolling in right now so that might be it like i, I totally respect people for going out there in the heat and dressing up but me i did it as simple as possible and i was actually really thankful for that for the Winnie the Pooh get up, I just had a red shirt with Pooh uh, written on it, and then uh, like tan or khaki pants, and that was it. Like, I had the colors of Winnie the Pooh in what I was wearing for normal clothes. That was at least breathable, and I was still sweating my butt off. There were people like walking in fully decked out in costumes, and more power to you. I just can't do that in September heat. I don't know how these people did it. Uh, there were a bunch of people walking in fully decked out as princesses. Um, um, Aurora was a couple of them. I saw a couple Mary Poppins like fully d decked out in her dress. Um, it was, it was insane. Uh, more power to you, you know, do your thing, but it ain't gonna be me. I'm gonna get in contact right now with uh, Disney and see if I can kind of get my next trip planned out and see what I can do about that. Um, and then from there, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna figure out what the storm is doing and see if I have to reschedule my flight or my hotel stay. So we'll see. All right, guys. So it is much much later at night. Um, had a decent amount of stuff go on after we got back. One, I tried setting up the bounce back offer for a future trip. For some reason, the bounce back offer was different this time. The reason I was able to get this room was because of a bounce back offer. It was 20% off of what the price would have been um, for that specific date. And uh, when I called to see what offers they had as a bounce back offer, instead of just taking a percentage off of a room, it was a percentage off the room and you got a free um, dining, pan, uh, dining plan, but then you also had to get a, a four day park hopper pass, minimum four day. And you have to stay for a minimum of four days uh, at the resort, which is, it, it's fine. It's just that I was able to get this room with the discount of 20% off for $1,900. I, I hate it when people say free because it's not really free. They'll find a way 
they'll, they'll bump up the price of the hotel and then they'll say okay well we're going to throw this in for free nothing is ever free there's something is usually added to it in the first place and then it's brought down it would have been close to three grand to get a room like this but with two beds so i'm gonna have to think about what i can do for next year and i'm thinking about coming down again uh during this time because one the crowd levels are amazing on top of that because i am coming down then losing weight is not an option anymore it's something i definitely have to do um, so the next time i come down here i will be thin so that's going to be a whole process that you guys are going to be a part of so i'm very excited about that uh tropical storm it's not even supposed to hit florida anymore uh, we, we Florida may the coast of Florida may get some uh, rain and winds, but it's not actually supposed to hit Florida anymore, which is awesome. Uh, which is a huge, huge weight off my shoulder, and it really helps with my anxiety. But then on top of that, while I was getting some of my stuff ready, I opened up some of the candy. Uh, it was a bag of Skittles. Um, when I took a bite of a Skittle, it literally blew the tooth in half. So. I got a tooth back here now that there's no pain, nothing. And I think it, it is one that I did have the work done on it. Um, and I did need the crown. It's just that when I bit it down on the Skittle, literally, I, I felt a like a pop. And I looked in the mirror and half of the tooth was gone. I mean, I do get to look forward to coming back. But then on top of that, I have a blown out tooth. So I'm going to try and relax the rest of the night and uh, just soak it in that I'm here in Disney World still. That's going to do it for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, thank you so much for coming along on this ride with me. This was a really fun trip. I had a blast with it, except for the heat. <laughs> and I will see you all next time. Take care.